Hi, I'm Simon, and I'll be your Elementor today. If you're using Elementor, chances are that you're a professional web designer, content expert, or marketer, and that means you've heard the word funnel get thrown around a lot. Now today, we'll be giving you the foundation knowledge of what a sales funnel is, how it works, how to create the essential unit of a funnel, and how to connect it to analytical tools like Google Analytics and Optimize so that you can know what works and what doesn't, giving you the hard data with which to tweak and perfect your funnel. So what is a funnel? Well, the term marketing funnel or sales funnel is used to describe the way that human beings can be convinced through a three to four step process to perform an action. Every aspect of the funnel needs to be tested and perfected because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how good your service is because the numbers count. And that's why we are also going to be showing you how to connect the funnel to tools such as Google Analytics and Google Optimize to help you figure out what works and what doesn't. In this tutorial, we're going to build a funnel for a life coach business called Achievements, looking to expand their mailing list. Now, we'll build two landing pages with slight variations in the microcopy, a pop-up with a subscription form, and a thank you page. We'll set up the subscribers mailing list in Active Campaign, and we'll be using templates on Hello Theme, a starter theme that works like a painter's primer, keeping everything in the template running smoothly and without adding any extra weight to the page. The templates we'll be using are from the Envato Elements plugin. We'll be testing our pages using tags from Google Analytics and Google Optimize, and to do this, we'll use Google Tag Manager, or GTM. This will keep our tags from slowing down our pages. Duracell Tommy's Google Tag Manager plugin is what we'll use Used to connect our site to our GTM account. Another great tool is Google Tag Assistant. It's a Chrome extension for checking that our tags are all in working order. So here we are in the dashboard. I'd like to show you what I've installed already. The Hello theme under Appearance. That's going to be the primer I spoke of earlier. And Envato Elements. Now I'm opening the Envato Elements and I'm going to search for business coach. That should give us some idea of what we should be looking for. And I'm going to use one of these home pages and import the template into my template. And I'm going to use that as a template for my landing pages. Now let's go back to that search. And I'm going to look for something that will help me create a thank you page. This looks good. And I'll import that. That'll be my template for a thank you page. Now I need a template for a pop up. And I'll just scroll down here and there we have it. I'll import that as well. Now what I'll do is I will go to new, select page and start a new page. I'll type in the name of this website, achievements and landing page one. Edit with Elementor. Now I'm going to go into the library, the template library, select my templates, and I've got the business coach homepage template. I'll insert that. Yes, I want it with details. And here we are. It's loaded wonderfully. It's all smooth. Everything's great. I'm going to go into the settings of the page through here in the Elementor panel. Make sure I've got the name that the page layouts are set to canvas. I'm going to click on update and we now have our first landing page. I'm going to bring up the finder tool by clicking on command or control E to bring up the finder tool. And it's very, very helpful as you'll see soon in the finder tool. I'll just type new and I'm going to select add new page from the options. I'm going to do the exact same thing as before. I'm going to load from my templates the home page that we used for the previous landing page. I'm going to go into the page settings. I'm going to change the name to achievements, landing page two, make sure the page layout is set to canvas and publish. And there's my second landing page. Back to the finder tool. Control or Command E, select to add a new page. This time we're going to be creating the thank you page. Same process, just select a different template. 
and there it is. What I am going to do is I'm going to make it look a bit more like a thank you page. I'm going to hit the settings here for the widget, change work with me to thank you. There we go, that looks better. And I'm also going to go into the settings and change the title of this page to achievements. Thanks. Make sure page layout is on canvas and publish. Now all that's left to do is to create a pop-up, which is a little different. So we'll need to search for pop and actually open up the template itself. Now here we have the template. It looks fine for our purpose right now. I'm going to go into the settings and in general settings, I'm going to change the name to achievements. Um, pop, click update. Now I have to set conditions. So the condition I'm going to set is to include all pages from the entire site. Triggers, I don't need any right now, but there's a nice selection. I don't need any advanced rules and save. Great, there's my pop-up. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to connect all of the assets together. Now this process is not complicated, it's just a little complex, which is why I suggest you keep all of your tabs open because you'll be doing a lot of copy pasting of URLs and ID keys. So it'll save you a lot of time if you keep all your tabs open. Now, I mentioned before that I'm using Active Campaign as my email platform. So I'm going to go into my email platform right now. And here I'm going to go into settings in Active Campaign. I'm going to click on developer and over here you can see the API URL and key which I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste back in the Elemental settings. So I have to go back to the WordPress dashboard go to Elementor, Settings, and under the Integrations tab, I'm going to look for, there we have it, Active Campaign. As you can see, I've already pasted those keys. I'm just going to validate and scroll down, very important, click Save Changes. So now I have the email platform perfectly connected to my Elementor website. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my email platform and I'm going to create a list for these subscribers. So here we are. Go into lists, create new list. I'll call it uh, subscribers. And for now, we'll just use the elementor.com URL. And I'm going to put in a description, mailing list, list, and add. Great. Now I have my subscribers list, no one there yet, but we'll get that sorted out very soon. So back in the dashboard, I'm going to go to my pages. I'm going to open all pages and I'm going to open up the first landing page with the Elementor editor. Now in here, as we said before, I want to test the microcopy on this button. So I'm going to open the widget editor in the panel and paste in the copy that I will be testing. Now just above the link box, click the dynamic button and scroll down the options to find action under which you'll find pop-up. Click on pop-up again and here just search for your pop and there we are, achievements pop, that's my pop-up for this website and update. There we are, I've connected that button to the pop-up. Now I'm going to do the same for landing page 2, here we are, find it in the finder. This time I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open up the settings, paste a different micro copy. Okay, do the same thing, dynamic, scroll down under action, select pop-up and click on pop-up. Search for my pop-up. Here we are, achievements pop. Update. Now the only thing left to do is to actually edit the pop-up. So I'm going to bring that up now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the subscribe button to all the things I've been talking about before. So if I open the form widget over here in the editor, you can see that I've already got email. And if I click on the email options, everything's all set. In the actions after submit options, I'm going to add active campaign. 
and see the active campaign options have already appeared below. Now, as you can see, the active campaign is already syncing. And if I go here, I've already got my subscribers list. I'm going to link the email field. And before I forget, I'm going to update. And I'm going to now add a redirect action. Click on the redirect options. And here I'm going to paste the URL for the thank you page. Now I'm going to click on update because I like to keep it safe. I'm going to add another action, this time for the pop-up. And in the pop-up options, I'm going to select close pop-up. So we get rid of it as soon as we're done. Update. And now I have linked all of my assets. Everything is working. The only thing left to do is to tag and test. Now, as I said, I suggested that you keep the tabs open. Now I'm going to go into Tag Manager, create an account. Here I'm going to write the name of my client, the owner of all of the web pages I design for this client. And here I'm going to write the name of the website. It's for the web, create. Okay, just accept all the terms and conditions and yes. Okay, now over here we have the script, but in this little section here we have the GTM tag or the tag for the container that I've just created. And I'm going to connect that to the plugin that I installed earlier, the Duracell Tommy plugin. Just paste the tag code over there and save changes. Now, all the tags that I put into that container will be connected to my web page. Now I can start putting tags into my Tag Manager container. Let's start with the new tag. I'm going to select Analytics. I'm going to keep page view and I'm going to add a new variable. Now you'll see we need a tracking ID. This we get from Analytics. We set up an account the same way as we saw before with Tag Manager and I'll just accept Terms and Conditions. Okay, so I have an analytics account with a container, and this is the tracking ID for my analytics container. I'm going to copy that and paste it back into the analytics tag in Google Tag Manager. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to change the name to make things more organized. Save. And next, what I want to do is I want to select the trigger for this tag. I'm going to select all pages, save again. I'm just going to adjust the name. Save. And there we have our very first tag over here. Now let's set up an optimize tag. There we go, Google Optimize. Now here we need the Optimize Container ID. To get that, we'll have to go into Google Optimize. Same thing again, create an account. I'm going to put my client's name up here, Achievements. I'm going to tick these off. Agree to Terms and Conditions. Next. I'm going to give the container the same name as my website. Create. Okay, so here we have the container ID, which we'll use later. Right now, I want to show you how to create an experience, which is basically the experiment or test we're going to have. I'm going to name it subscribe May 2019. That'll help me find it. I'm going to paste the URL of our first landing page because we don't have a home page right now. And you can select any type of test you want to run. We're going to select redirect test because we'll be testing to see how many clicks eventually reach the thank you page and create. Okay, over here we have all the different steps we need to complete. Let's start with adding a variant. Now I'm going to leave the name as variant one. Now, once it's created, you'll see we have the first landing page as our original and we have it here. I'm going to change this as the variant will be now landing page two. And you'll notice two will be the variant. Now over here, you have the edit option to the edit tool where you can edit small changes within that web page. But like I said, we wanted to give you the option so that if you wanted to create more complex A-B testing in the future, you should do it this way. Now I'll just scroll down. Now I need to link to analytics, but first notice that we have an objective we need to set up. So let's go to analytics. 
Now, Google Optimize is based on analytics, and that's why by using it together with analytics, we basically expand the measurements that we can take with analytics. So we're going to go into analytics and create a goal by clicking on admin, then going to the view column and selecting goals. Now, over here, we're going to create a new goal. We're going to make a custom goal and I'm going to name it thank you goal. I'm going to select the option as a destination and in the goal details equals to I'm going to enter the URL of the thank you page. This is how I can test how many people have actually reached the thank you page from each button. There we are, we have the thank you goal. And let's go back to optimize. And now let's link to analytics. Okay, link. And we've got optimize link to analytics. Now here is that optimize ID that I told you about before. I'm just gonna copy this now, go back into tag manager and paste this container ID. I'm going to select a new variable. Now I'm going to need the tracking ID from the experiment or the goal. Back in the experiment settings and optimize, I'm going to choose from list. You can see we already have the thank you goal up there. I'm going to select that, scroll down just to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. And over here, I'm going to turn on the email notification, scroll back up and click start. Yes. Okay. Start. Great. Now let's go back to the main optimize page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this ID here, which is the optimize experiment ID. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it over here in the tracking ID. I'm going to click save. I'm going to just save this again, keep the same name. Okay. And so let's set up a trigger all pages again, save, I'll keep the same name for now. And okay, back in the Tag Manager workplace. Now, we've got all the tags, let's just submit to publish. I'm going to give this whole thing a name, it's gonna be achievements, okay. I'm going to publish. Okay, that's everything done. We've got all the tags set up. All that's left is to test to see if all of these tags and uh, triggers actually work. Okay, so we're back in Elementor Editor. This is my uh, second landing page. I'm going to preview the landing page and check to see if everything works. Everything seems to be working so far. I will turn on my tag assistant, that uh, Google Chrome extension I told you about earlier. I'm going to set it to record. Now I'm going to refresh the page. Okay. I'm going to click on the button. Here we have the form pop-up works. I'm going to add a bogus email address. Click subscribe. Great. And it's sent me to the thank you page. Wonderful. Okay. Now let's see if the email registered on the mailing list. Let's go back into active campaign. Here's my mailing list. And there we have it. Our first name on the mailing list. Now the next thing I want to do is check to see if the tags worked. Yes, they worked perfectly. Brilliant. So as you can see, we've set up all the assets, we've linked them together, and now we've tagged everything and all that remains to be done is to wait and see which of those microcopies yields better results. And you're done. There's nothing left to do but wait and see what the users do. Now don't be too hasty. Reliable information never comes quick. So to recap, 
We've taken a look at a project. We've decided on the assets we're going to use. We've built two landing pages, a pop-up and a thank you page, and then we organized our flow. Users arriving from the campaign will be diverted to two variations of the landing page. Click on that button, submit the form, and then their address will be registered on the client's mailing list. Users are then redirected to the thank you page. Now we'll wait a short while before we revisit Google Optimize and Analytics and see what worked best. This is the basic process for funnel building, testing and perfecting. And you can use the same process to build far more elaborate funnels to perfect more complex funnels. And we hope that this has all been very helpful and inspiring. As always, we appreciate your comments and insight, whatever you may have, we want to hear criticism, obviously, and any helpful tips that you might want to add for our other users. After all, our goal is to be the best at helping others excel at their craft. Thank you for watching. Cheers.